Hello everyone. Welcome back to study tip for IGCSE Mathematics. Today's topic is related to ratio, rate, and proportion. Without further delay, let's begin. Ratio. A ratio is a numerical comparison of two amounts. The order write the amount is important. Example, one teacher for every 25 students in a school. The ratio of teachers to student is 1 to 25. Ratio can also be written as fraction. Example, a ratio of 1 to 25 can be written as 1 over 25. Example 2, a ratio of 5 to 3 can be written as 5 over 3. So, when you write two quantities as ratio, firstly, you have to make sure that they are both same units. Example, the ratio of 20C to $1 is not 20 to 1. It should be 20 to 100 because 100 cents in a dollar. Writing ratio in simplest form. First and foremost, ratio are simplest form when you write them using smallest number. In addition, the ratio of 20 to 100 is not in its simplest form. And finally, you can simplify ratio in the same way as simplified fractions. Example, 2 over 100, when you simplify it, it becomes 1 to 5. Let's look at work example. Sujata mixes 8 liters of white paint with 3 liters of red paint to get pink paint. What is the ratio of number A, red paint to white paint, B, white paint to the total amount of paint in a mixture, and C, red paint to the total amount of paint in a mixture? So for the question A, red paint to white paint. So we know that Sujata mixes 8 liters of white paint with 3 liters of red paint. So in this case for question number 1, red paint to white paint means that 3 liters to 8 liters. 3 to 8. Question B, white paint to the total amount of paint in the mixture. So when 8 liters of white paint plus 3 liters of red paint is bring to the total of 11 liters. So when the question says that white paint, white paints we already know that is 8 liters to the total amount of paints, okay, means that 8 liters white out of a total of 11 liters. So how do we write it? It's 8 to 11. And number C, red paint to the total amount of paint in the mixture. We already know that when Sujata mixes 8 liters of white paint with 3 liters of red paint, so we know that the total liters of red paint is 3. So 3 liters red out of a total of 11 liters. So we write it as 3 to 11. Let's look under the topic of ratio and scale. How do we express a ratio in a form of 1 to n? Giving one of the example, express 5 to 1000 in a form of 1 to n. First and foremost, we have to divide both sides by 5. As for example, 5 divided by 5 to 1000 divided by 5. So, as a result from this question, we might get 
1 to 200. Next, we go to the rates topic. What is rate? Rates is a comparison of two different quantities. In a rate, the quantity of one thing is usually given in relation to one unit of the other things. Example, you have 750 milliliter per bottle or 60 kilometer per hour. The units of both quantity must be given in a rate. So rates is also can be simplified just like ratio. And rate also can be expressed in a forms of 1 to N. Let's look at one of the work examples. Given the question is, 492 people live in an area of 12 km square. Express this as a rate in its simpler form. We know that 492 people in 12 km square. So, you have to divide by 12 to get a rate per unit. So, 490 pe people have to divide by 12 per km square. So, as a result from this, you get the answer is 41 people per kilometer square. And please don't, do not forget to write the units. In this case, kilometer square. Next, we go to the topic of average speed. As you know that average speed kilometer per hour is one of the most commonly used rates. For example, in this example, we have V represent distance, S represent speed, and T represent time. D is equal to S speed multiplied by time to get the distance. So how to get the speed? Distance divided by time. And how to get the time? Distance divided by speed. Let's look one of the examples under average speed. A bus travel 200 km in 3 hours. What is its average speed in km per hour? So the question asks you to find the average speed. What is the formula for average speed? To find average speed is distance divided by time. Given here, the bus travel, the distance is about 200 km in 3 hours. So time is already given, distance also is given. Time is 3 hours. So how to get the speed is based on the formula distance 210 km divided, divided by 3 hours. You get the answer, the speed that the bus travel is 70 km per hour. So, its average speed is 70 km per hour. That's all for this topic. Hope that you do a lot of exercises. With that, thank you very much.